Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Nail Art Weekly Stamping Collab and hosting this one is May from May's Nail Designs. The theme is butterflies. So let's take a look at everyone's beautiful creations. Mine is the last one and I'll show you how I created it. Don't forget in the description box below, as soon as I get them will be the links to everyone's videos. We have everyone's um, Instagram information below as well. So if you're not a follower, come and follow us on Instagram as well. Let's get started. For this design, I'm going to use my Uber Chic plate from the collection number nine, plate number two, and I'm going to use this butterfly right here. And we're going to get the butterfly all prepped before I do my nails. Well, actually, so it can be drying. For the stamping polish, I'll be using On the Black by Braves Diva Polish. And I'll be using me my monocle stamper and scraper from Bundle Monster. Okay, I've got a great image right there. I am going to clean around the stamping head with a piece of tape to get off any excess ink that I don't want on my finger and I'm going to take my wet and wild clear protector right here and I'm just going to lightly float it over the top so that when I color in the butterfly I don't smear the black so we're just going to set that aside to dry and I'll be using my Wave Gel um, Base Gel and Shiny Note Clean Top Gel today. The base gel has been applied and cured. And I'll be applying clear water. And I'll be applying this to my pointer finger and my pinky and my thumb. The second color I'm going to use is called Biscuits. And I'm going to apply this to my ring finger and my middle finger. I think it's just like a pinky nude color. Okay, now I'm going to put my second coat of color on. So, right now I just have biscuits hanging out here, so I'll do biscuits first. And I'm going to do my second coat of clear water.
clear water should only need two coats. Biscuits is probably going to need three. Okay, I just want to show you that if you happen to make a mistake and you get a little bit outside the edges, the only way to really fix that is to... Just kind of file it off. Okay, and I'm going to put my third coat of biscuits on. Yeah, I do like how that came out. If you if you think it might be a little too sheer for you, you can always put like um, a white undercoat underneath it. But I think I got it pretty opaque. Well, I think we're pretty good. Okay, so here's everything. And this is how I was able to fix that a little bit. Looks a lot better. And I'm just going to put the top coat on the clear water fingers because I'm not doing anything on those as far as designs. So here's the top coat that I use. And I just like this one because it is shiny, but they all are shiny. This one just has a no wipe formula. So it's because I'm lazy. <laughs> so I'll put that on the rest and we'll come back. Okay, right now I'm going to take off the tacky layer from these two fingers so I don't end up with a whole bunch of yucky stuff stuck to them. Um, my nails are kind of short, otherwise sometimes I just top coat it with a shiny top coat and I just put the design right over that. But since they're kind of short, I, well, <laughs> yeah, okay guys, since they're really short, um, I don't want to be putting a thousand layers on, on here. So let's work on our butterfly. Okay, first I'm going to color this in with a little bit of fairy dust by China Glaze. I just put a little bit on the tin foil for easy cleanup. And I've got this fine brush. I'm just going to put it inside the butterfly here. You can see, just gives it a little bit of sparkle. I just want to, my fingers are a little small. I just want to dab a little bit of the spongy color right there, just like that. Let me see if we can build it up a little. I'm just touching it. And then sponging it until I kind of get the color I want. So actually that's kind of nice. I don't know if you guys can see it real well. So I'm just going to cure that. And since it's such a little bit, I think I can cure it for like 5 or 10 seconds. Um, and then put another coat on. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. I'm kind of liking that. Maybe just a touch more. Because right now you can put as much on as you want and just wipe it off if if it's too dark. I think that's the look I want. I'm not sure that I want it any darker. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I think I think that might be Fine. I don't know, maybe just a touch darker. Let's see. I 
Mm. I'll get it off from around my nail right here. And I think I went down a little bit too far, so I'm just going to wipe that. right there okay, I think that looks pretty good I think that's all I really want so I'm just going to cure it now for 30 seconds okay now this just pops off like that and you can rinse it off with the alcohol which I'm going to go do right now okay and then I'm just going to take a paper towel and squeeze it dry I mean obviously it's not going to be dry right away we'll have to set it to the side that's pretty much what happens? Pretty good. There's, oh, there might be a little bit. You just want to keep um, cleansing it with alcohol and soap until you get no more color out on your paper towel. Now I'm going to be working with Glamorous, which is kind of a chunky silver um, and holographic glitter and discotech which is a little bit finer and we have jelly fairy dust which is very fine we used it on the butterfly i have a little brush here and i'm just going to brush a little of the fairy dust right here where i made just kind of come down a little bit Kind of like it a little diagonal and I'm getting a little bit still on the pink so that's fine that's what I want so I'm going to cure that and I'll do that for 30 seconds okay we're going to bring the butterfly back here and I'm just going to use the the wave gel lacquer in clear water and I'm just going to put a little on my tin foil for a canvas and I am oh no I'm not going to do that um I'm going to use a little bit of discotheque next and just the lacquer discotheque glad I didn't put that other one on first we're just gonna sparkle him up a little bit Okay, so now we're just going to put that to the side. Okay, and now I'm going to put some of the gel discotech right over here because it's a little bit chunkier. And I'm going to keep this one on the kind of green fade there. And I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, now I'm just going to use a very fine dotting tool to pick up some of the really big chunks of glitter in the glamorous. And then I'm just going to put them on here. The Glamorous is made up of some really big chunks and some littler chunks. And also, if you have like loose glitter that's bigger chunks, you could do that and probably be easier. I probably have some, but you know what? I'm just going to work with this right now. There. 
Okay, so now I am just going to try to get one more. another one there we go all right it's exactly the look I was going for so now I'm just going to cure that okay so let's color in the butterfly We're just going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm just going to top coat this. And cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, I think the butterfly is done. And I'm hoping it's going to stick to my nail. So. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's take a deep breath. <laughs> oh, please work, work. <gasps> yeah, okay, but um, I've got all this stuff on the edge right here. So I'm just gonna get rid of that and top coat it and whoo it came out i'm so excited when that happens <laughs> okay the butterfly turned out exactly how i wanted it so i'm just going to put a nice coat of top coat over that and cure that and come right back so here is the finished look. I hope y'all like this one. Did a little bit something extra. Actually, I wish I had um, pretty much sponged a little bit darker. Once the glitter got over it, it kind of overpowered the look that I was going for. But I am really happy with the outcome. I love my butterfly. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.